Hi, this is Sunday from BorderWorks.com and today we'll be unboxing our iPhone 5. We have the white version, 64 gigabytes. Sorry we didn't unbox this on Friday for you. But we have it here now. So let's go ahead and remove the packaging. White box. Slide this down. If we can. Here we go. There's our iPhone 5. It's very light. We'll get that to, to that in a second. Open this up. We have, of course, our wall charger, travel charger here, all white. Our new lightning cables, which are USB on one end and the new lightning port on the other. Let's open this up here, take a good look. The new cables that Apple has provided. So they look like a micro USB port, but of course this is a proprietary cable from um, Apple. And of course our new earbuds, ear pods, sorry, not earbuds, which are the new headphones for the uh, iPhone. They come in a carrying case, which is pretty nice. So you can carry them around if you want to. And that is pretty much it. All right, so our iPhone 5 here. Now this is the all white iPhone 5. You can see it's four inches. So it's, it's not wider than the uh, iPhone 4S, it's just longer. Um, it's four inches. You've got your volume toggles on your left and of course your lock button. On the top, of course, the power, your home key, and at the bottom is the 3.5 mm jack. Take this off. And of course you have your brand new lightning jack. Now, if you take a comparison to the iPhone 4S here, you can see the changes that Apple has made. The power port, I mean the uh, 3.5 mm jack is on the top of your iPhone. It's now at the bottom. And your proprietary port is no more a 30 pin port but actually uh, they have this now new small and quaint lightning jack, which is double-sided, so it doesn't matter which way you push it in. I can put it in that way, I can flip it around and put it in this way, it's still the same thing, so that's uh, pretty nice. In terms of weight, it's very light. It's much lighter than the uh, 4S, which we have powered on right now, and um, stylishly it still looks the same, it's just an elongated, iPhone 4S. The difference is, of course, is the new port and the 3.5 mm jack is now below instead of on top of your device. You've got that you know, Gorilla Glass finish in the front. You've also got a glass finish on the back, which a lot of people have noted, you know, it's again scratches there, but so far our iPhone shipped without any scratches whatsoever. You can see our camera there. That's the 8 megapixel iSight camera with flash. Same camera you find in your iPhone 4S, but this should have, um, you know, better optics with software improvements. And uh, yeah, here we have it. So this is iPhone 5S. I'm mean, iPhone 5. I call it iPhone 5S. I apologize. Um, we'll spend some time. We'll you know play around with it. Use the camera for a little bit. Check out the maps on this. We have checked out the maps, of course, on the iPhone 4S, and they suck there, but. We will check it out on the iPhone 5, hopefully there are some improvements since then. Um, but overall, um, nice piece of hardware, um, nice solid industrial design, very light, which is, uh, which is nice, but it still looks like an iPhone and keeps the same traditional iPhone look, just a little elongated altogether. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with two O's. So this is Thunder saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.